Bean Man, you're eating all of your wares. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I decided to go basically spend out my giant's wallet, or I should say empty out my giant's wallet by uh, spending my money on some rupees that I'm going to need a little bit later. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to need these beans a little bit later to get a load of things actually from these beans as an adult. Basically, those little bean sprouts grow up to be little transportation devices that float around. Yeah, floating plants. Doesn't really make much sense, but I suppose if the uh, pea hats can fly, I can uh, let these guys pass as well. <laughs> So, as you see, they keep going up in price for everyone that you buy by 10 rupees. This is why I needed a load of rupees to get them, and you'll notice that I have exactly enough rupees. <laughs> so, yes, and the last one is going to be 100. Well, isn't that perfect? <laughs> And yep, I will buy the last one out. There is no more that you can buy after 10. He will be completely sold out and filthy, stinking, rich. <laughs> anyway, our next destination is going to be Kakariko Village. Yep. Well, actually, come to think of it, maybe what I should do is go around and plant all of these suckers in the places that need to be planted. Hmm, because I'm, I'm completely maxed out on beans now. I already planted one, and I've got nine in my inventory. There's only ten soft soil spots. He'll be like, oh, too bad, we're sold out. What? Oh, these beans are not for sale. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty much where his stash is going. He's eating them all now. So, oh, oh, no. I really, oh, I don't know. I, yeah, I think I'm going to go plant the beans where I need to go... No, I'll, I'll do them in another part just to keep them organized. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then I'll just go over to Kakariko Village. Ah, indecisions. I hate them so much. Hello, we're back here. Dark. Narrow. Scary. The well of three features. So... This well here, it's full of water at the moment here, so as you can see that, but as you can see, there's something down there. Something that we will need. But first, we must go over to the windmill. Now here's where that time paradox that I was talking about with this guy comes into effect. Now, question mark. Yeah, I know we're in the windmill. I don't know why it has question mark anyway. Well, you'll talk to this guy here. He'll be like, go around, go around and around, and around. What fun. I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around, go around and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill going around and around and around. Um, he's playing, I should say the song that's playing is this, the theme of this windmill. By the way, I, f I kind of forgot what the heck, I mean, how the heck the uh, Song of Storms is played. Uh, a down, up, A down, up, okay. Play your ocarina here. A down, up, A down, up. <laughs> and it'll once again rain indoors mysteriously. And make this go at super speed. Once again. And for whatever reason, the windmill controls how the well drains out, or I should say it controls the water pumps. I don't understand why it's built that way, but it just is. <laughs> and now I'll talk to him again, he'll be like, Go around, go around, go around, what is going with him first? So, here's, now this is the time paradox. Apparently, he taught us this song in the future, but he claimed that some kid played that song in the past. So basically, he taught us the song only to go back in time to play this song and make this go too fast and tick him off. That makes no sense, but we best not question the logic otherwise. There will be some sort of time paradox, even though there already is kind of a time paradox, and it'll make the universe explode. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round. I'll get us enough of that. <laughs> what we want to do now 
is go into the well. The well is actually a dungeon, and we are going to need the item in this dungeon. Ow. <laughs> it's a very, very small dungeon, and I recall... I mean, I know how to get the item in here, but I just don't remember which hole to drop down, and that is going to tick me off to no end. I can tell right now. And this place is freaky. Extremely freaky. <laughs> and I assume it's... Oh, wait, it is... What am I thinking? It is changed in the uh, Master Quest. What am I talking about? No, 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 stop pumping me! I would like to... Kill no! Go away! I wanted to Z-target the spooky thing on the wall. No! Stop that! <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh, oh wait! I got my ocarina out, so I should just play. <laughs> the sun song. It's so happy and cheery to stun you and hopefully be able to kill you from the back. <laughs> Wow, you take a lot of hits. Now, I would like to target this thing right here. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they are saying. that That's the item that we're going in here for. The Eye of Truth. Now, looking in the, around in this dungeon, it's like, well, it's not that bad. It's just a, yeah, it's just a simple... Uh, is there a map in this place? I don't believe... Oh, there is a map in this place. Okay, it's only a couple floors, and they're all like one whole room, so this place isn't big at all. It's just the problem of finding where to go. So, I, b I believe these things, you can actually blow up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, like anything that you see, if there's a patch of ground with a red hole in it, yeah, you can blow those things up. Uh, I don't e I don't even remember if that was in the original game to be honest That may be a whole new texture and as you can see there's stuff hidden Underneath these things, but the thing that I'm looking for is actually a an invisible hole That leads to the thing <laughs> if that makes any sense to you um, I'm going to blow this not that way So this is going to cause me quite a bit of ire until I figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go, basically. Uh, so this this dungeon, while normally you'd be able to do in like five minutes or so, in this case it may take a little bit longer. Like, is there? Like you see, there's this hole right here. Well, in the original version, this hole is actually covered up uh, by some invisible force of sorts. And does that does that stay pressed? I don't know if it stays, stays pressed, but anyway, now that you can see the hole, that doesn't mean that you can jump across it, because remember, this hole is programmed that you normally couldn't see it. So if I were to plop down there, I would end up at the basement, and I don't want to explore that area just yet, because I know that's not the hole I'm supposed to jump down. Um, and I, I'd really like to explore this entire place as well, but the first thing that I want is the dungeon item, and that might take me... Wait, maybe... Let me look down here. Can I see anything through? This might actually be the place I'm supposed to drop down. I'm um, basically, if you recall in the original game, there's a treasure chest on top of a high place in the basement that you could only get to by dropping down from a higher layer. Well, in the uh, Master Quests version, basically, um, you have to. I mean, that's where the uh, a lens of truth is. Is this? Wait, this is a. Yeah, it's a crest of the royal family. So that means. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... There we go. La 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 la. And that opens that apparently. Uh, this treasure chest is seemingly open. Very careful where you walk and look for little shimmers of... Oh wait, that tre... What am I thinking? That treasure chest isn't open. Shadows... Oh no, there's wall masters. So, what does this get me? What does this get me? Compass, perhaps? A dungeon map? Well, this, that works for me. Okay, let's, let's kill off the wall master. There we go! 
shouldn't take more than a couple hits, I suppose. Even though I got my Kokiri sword, the paring knife I dubbed. <laughs> Since I spent a load of rupees on uh, that bean guy, I might as well fill my wallet up. Uh... I killed the wall master, so I don't have to worry. Oh, did you see Na what Navi did there? She's pointing out something here. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's probably a, a fairy of some sort. What is this? What is hitting this switch do? That lights that torch and opens that door for whatever reason. Okay, I can live with that. Like, I bet you if I played the sun song here, I would get a uh, giant fairy. One of those larger pink fairies, basically. Uh, yep, just as I thought. And these recover all your health. Okay, and is this blood here? I've always wondered this. Is that blood? Because if that's blood, this is not a kid's game in the slightest, and I think that's blood, dang it. <sighs> anyway, I'm enough with my ranting. I'm going to go back out through one of these. Oh, wait, that. I opened the gates all around the center area, so that's actually quite handy. <laughs> But the thing that I forgot to, or I, should, I shouldn't say forgot to hit, is the thing that I wanted to see was hitting that switch. I believe that drains out the water. Yes, it does. And I could blow that up if I would like to. Needless to say, I'm taking these areas like one level at a time, so to speak. <laughs> so I, I don't like confuse myself or something along the way. Now that grate that was closed before, is that sucker open now? Just out of curiosity. I know this one's closed. <laughs> but, um... Well, there's... Oh, I can go down here now that I drained out the water. That is good news. That's still closed. Yada, yada, yada. I'm just looking for that grate off to the left side just to see if it's open. No, it is not. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna have to explore some of the... Uh, Underwater, I should say, uh, now not underwater areas. And wait, wait, this th this has absolutely nothing here. Well, that was a waste. What a total crock. <laughs> um, okay, let's jump down here. Where does this? Oh, boulders. For whatever reason, is a wall master. Don't really care too much about you since I'm just gonna be running through this place. Um, okay, look up here. See that? Wait, wait. Actually, what is that? Oh my god, Invisible Skulltula! <laughs> uh, that's not what I was looking for. But there's a place somewhere up above. You know what? I will kill you because I would like to show the peeps watching the place that I'm looking for, basically. Uh, okay, you... Wow, you give a ton of rupees. <laughs> now, uh, don't touch this stuff. It is poisonous or whatever. Yeah, as you can see there. Uh, there's boulders wandering around here aimlessly, I suppose. Uh, Redads. Not really too exciting. Mm. Let's see. Do I have to do something with you guys? I mean, you guys are all, like, tucked in that corner there. And usually when there's, like, a load of you guys in one... Or, I should say, a load of enemies, especially annoying enemies, in one spot... It's just like basically saying, hey, you gotta kill us all. <laughs> My god, the Sun Song is handy for taking care of these guys. It stuns them for so long. Uh, I bet you I have to get some of this fire here. This, this is blue fire. It allows you to melt certain stuff. So I'm just gonna dump out my bugs here, even though I, you know, I had to keep them for a separate copy, so to speak, just in case to be safe. But I'm going to get myself... Or not. <laughs> I guess you can't grab that fire. I, I thought it was, there was gonna be, like, some sort of red ice around this area. Because red ice can only be, um, burnt by a bottle full of that blue fire. Yeah, you can hold blue fire in a bottle. It doesn't make any sense, but that's just how it rolls, baby. <laughs> Um, so what what the heck was the point of this little corner section here? Was there none or something? Because it certainly feels that way. So, okay, the Lens of Truth. 
you go down there. Oh, at least I can see where they're dropping down from when I see Navi. Hey, Navi's actually helpful for once. Oh, Gold Skull Tula. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would like to kill you. So I will have to explore this place pretty extensively for the Skull Tulas. Or at least I think I will. Now, above this spot here, which I believe is that... Oops, that far corner at the left side of the map. Now, if you look up, I thought if you looked up, well, where is the thing? I want, see why I'm taking so much time in this area in particular is because I need to get an idea of where I want to drop down from. And I, I can't see the thingy that I need to drop down onto. <laughs> Unless it's now hidden behind something, because I, I wouldn't put that past Master Quest. Anyway, these ladders take you out of the area. Oh, up there, up there, up there. That place right there. See where that switch is? That's the place that I am aiming for, basically. I believe that's the spot I have to jump down onto, and that is... Well, I, I'd be able to tell a lot easier if I had the compass, but I believe it is that second shaft from the left on the map. So I have to match that up on the map and then drop down some invisible hole. And I was just touching the water and I didn't take a hit there. <laughs> that That's my best guess. I'm doing a lot of wandering and guessing around here. But uh, that's simply because I don't remember this area. <laughs> I've only played through Master Quest once before, as I said, so... These sort of things happen, but I assure you I'll be able to smell out the solutions to these puzzles. And this door right here leads you back over to the main hallway room dealio thingy here. Wait, what is this weird room here? I can blow up this sucker here if I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I thought I could blow up that sucker if I wanted to. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I could do it with some bomb shoes, so let's just plop it down there. There we go. An eye. An eye for an eye. It opens a gate to something. Was it was like this gate? I don't know. No, that couldn't have been that gate. Because <laughs> this was the gate. No, wait, that, that just might, might have been the gate, actually. Anyway, I just realized I'm kind of... Not running low on time. There's there's no uh, running low on time anymore on YouTube, so to speak. So anyway, I'm like at 18 minutes or so now, so I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I kill off this wall master for the second time for the heck of it. Or I can just do it in this part. 